Hi friends, it's Miss Warner. Today I want to read one of my very favorite books to you. It's called Giraffes Can't Dance. And what I love about this book is it reminds us to have a growth mindset, which means we persevere and we remember we can't do everything right away, but instead of saying, I can't do it, you say, I can't do it yet. And you know you can work hard to get better and better because the more you practice, the better you get. So we're gonna read Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andre, illustrated by Guy Parker Reese. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Look at how those illustrations help us to get to know more about Gerald. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw, saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. How do you think Gerald's feeling right now? Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought, I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. He did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How do you think Gerald's feeling now? Before he was 
shy, sad, embarrassed. Now he looks very confident and like he's having so much fun. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end. Thank you for listening.